Hey guys, welcome back to day number 17 of Crafting Tober. We are doing a fall kind of card. Well, card. <laughs> it's a treat baggie. Um, this time I made this cute little banner. It is mason jars that have a little candle in them and then some sunflowers at the end. I think it turned out really cute and I thought that it would be perfect to use these uh, this candy corn that I found in the store and it's cookie flavored. <laughs> I thought I would you know give it a try and I thought you know might as well make some goodie bags out of it because I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because uh, I can only handle so much candy corn before I'm sick of it so I kinda have to share and I figured this is a great way to share, give someone a little goodie bag, and hopefully they like it, you know. If not, they can throw it away or give it to someone else. Uh, so I basically I just use browns, yellows, oranges for the sunflowers and the candle. I used a light blue for the mason jar just to give it like a look that it's the glass is reflecting, or the sun is reflecting off the glass. <laughs> Um, and then I didn't fully fussy cut it, I just kind of did a ring around it. I didn't really want to have it to be too fragile because I wanted to hide the staples underneath this image rather than, you know, put a piece of ribbon or an extra panel of cardstock. I just wanted, you know, a simple kind of background which the background I use craft and just some uh, stamps that I have the target dollar spot stamps I use the hello fall and then one of the leaves which turns out really cute I love it uh, I'm looking for some craft paper there this is my little bucket of um, Halloween and fall things that I'm just keeping on the side of my table so that every day I can just reach into it and kind of get an inspiration for what I want to do and that way everything is just there and I can do it fast because I don't really want to spend too much time uh, just kind of trying to figure everything where everything is it just it saves on time since I'm doing everything daily um, it's also nice to have everything there so that I can coordinate papers very easily I can see which papers I have, which card stocks, what goes with what, and then I also have my stamps in there as well. Which I do use stamps even though I am using a digital stamp because um, I, I don't really make too many sentiments. I make a few, but I just sometimes I would rather just have a stamp because it's just easier. See, like right now, if I used a a digital sentiment I'd have to print it out on well I guess I could print it out on craft it, it wouldn't be that bad but if I'm using um, like a black cardstock I'd have to either use a white piece of paper or a craft on top of it or emboss it so that's that's one of the downfalls for the digital sentiments the images I love to use because you know it doesn't really matter if it's a white background because you're probably gonna fussy cut it or the white backgrounds okay in general so I just use a cellophane, cellophane bag you know switching from my rant <laughs> or my soapbox <laughs> I just use a cellophane bag and put some candy corn in there I staple my little topper on and then put my little piece of image there so don't forget to head on over to my Facebook page to get your image and I hope you're having a crazy day, not too crazy, good crazy, not bad crazy, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.